Hey you guys, so welcome back to a thankful Thursday, well to my thankful Thursday series. Okay, I look kind of rough and wild, but that's okay. I'm here. So in today's video, I just wanted to touch on the fact of we need to stop comparing ourselves to others. We have got to. <laughs> However, being that we're human beings and it's inevitable, we're going to compare. You're going to see someone, you're going to be, wow, they're more beautiful than me. Or, oh, they have the body I think I want. Or, oh my gosh, she has a cool career path that I want. Or, oh, I wish I had that car. Whatever the case may be. You know, you look at others and people do compare. But we need to be thankful for who we are and what we have. One thing that for my mother taught me for sure that always sticks in my mind is she's like, Tina, you're A, B through Z don't matter. You don't take away from them. They don't take away from you and keep it moving. You know, there's always going to be someone more beautiful than you, smarter, more athletic or whatever the case may be. But then there's also people who are looking at you and not to mention those same people that you're looking at who you feel like, oh my God, they have things you desire to have. There's things in you that they would look at and admire. Point in case, you know, um, with the tragic loss of Kobe and his daughter and everyone on that helicopter, you know, God rest all their souls and bless their loved ones who they have left behind. Um, you know, honestly, there's people in our own personal day to day lives who pass away and they have more of a significance to us than, you know, them. However, most people, you know, you look at celebrities and you feel like, oh my God, you know, they were so blessed and privileged and fortunate to live a lifestyle that most will never even be able to imagine. You know, there's millions of people who have a talent and there's maybe only a thousand who get the chance to you know be the celebrity be rich um, be able to make their passion you know their profit but um you know you tend to look at celebrities and the lavish lifestyle they have you know and they earned don't get me wrong but you look at it like oh my god you know i wish beyonce and jay-z were my parents and oh my gosh I wish I was a singer and I was on television and I was, you know, you have all these things and, you know, people probably looked at Gianna and were like, oh my God, I wish I was Kobe's daughter and I wish I was a celebrity's child, you know, and the point of me saying this is you look at these people who you think have it all, a lifestyle that most of us can never even dream of and still their time came and early compared to what most of us would want, you know? And it just basically shows you that death and tragedy are not bias. They do not have, um, I can't even think of the phrase I'm looking for, but it just makes you think, you know, I'm 32. I'm thankful to be 32. Poor Gianna, you know, her coming up, her mom and dad are probably telling her, Oh my God, you have the whole life ahead of you. You have, you know, the world is your oyster and she died young along with her other teammates on the helicopter, you know? So it's it's sad. And, you know, I think about Aaliyah. You know, everyone wanted to be Aaliyah, you know. They loved her and she died tragically too. So, you know, so it's like, you know, be thankful to be you and who you are. The hard lessons to come, the lessons you've learned, the good, the bad, you are you, you are blessed and continue to allow God to be your compass and to be a good person and to take the good with the bad. But again, instead of comparing yourself to, dang, you know, I wish I was 10 sizes smaller and I can be as pretty as her. Instead, be thankful. You know what? I remember when I was in high school, my acne was terrible and I was so insecure. Thank you, God. Like you cleared that for me. 
because we go on YouTube and Instagram now and you see people whose skin is horrible and they give anything to have what we have, which is clear skin. You know, you can see these moms with multiple children in their stroller and they have to catch the bus. And I'm over here seemingly ungrateful, like, oh, I wish I had such and such dream car, but it's like, hey, you have your own car. You have your own independence where you can get around and move and come and go as you please. And you don't have to be inconvenienced by waiting for the bus. And if you miss it or if it's late and then you have all these children and then you're around other people and uncomfortable. You know, I just really want to remind people to just really, really take the time to remember the things you wanted or you thought that you wanted and really look at your life and see how it unfolded and look at the things that you do have. And again, comparing ourselves, we can compare ourselves all day. Oh my gosh, she has four degrees. I wish I had that. Oh, she has seven zeros in her bank account to the left side of the decimal. Oh, I can, we can dream and wish and do all this all day long. But we're going to be thankful that we have breath in our lungs. God say the same. Our loved ones are healthy and happy and safe. And we have the comfort of God surrounding us. Um, we're protected from evil and wickedness. You know, that we are a positive impact in this world. Um, just not take for granted the time that we do have. I've wasted a lot of time in my life being unhappy and feeling insecure and inadequate. And it's like there is not one single person in this world who has it all, despite how beautiful they may appear or how popular they are or, or everyone seems to love them. Everyone is human and we all experience the same things in some shape, form or fashion. So, you know. We all love Beyonce, <laughs> or you should, but she has problems too. And she has things that bother her. Whether people feel that she does or feel that she should because she's rich and famous, she does. We're all human. And another thing, love and be happy being who you are. I love Beyonce. Like in my mind, she's my big sister. I can go on for hours about how much we have in common. But I'll spare y'all. But point being, I don't want to be her. You know, I am Christina Beyonce. I'm her little sister. I'm Beyonce-esque. But I don't want to be her. I'm thankful for who I am. You know, who my family is, who my son is. For the people in my life who love me and care for me and pray for me. You know, I'm thankful to see the things that, you know, God say the same. I'm able to do with my life. And, um, yeah. So anyways. I just want us to remember to be thankful. Stop comparing yourself. Or if you compare yourself, only time you really need to compare yourself really is when you're lazy and you're not meeting your potential, then you need to compare yourself to these other people who get up and push themselves because you can do the same. Other than that, stop comparing. You don't know the hardships, the sacrifices, or what these people have gone through to get to where they are. And also, you don't know what's in store for them. You know, everyone's not going to live to be old and gray and die in their sleep. I wish that could be the reality for everyone, but that's not. You know, people's loved ones are passing away. You know, people are losing their jobs. People are losing their home. People are getting sick. All kind of bad things are happening in an individual's lives as well as their loved one's lives. And that may be something that you might not ever have to experience, but yet you're over here wishing to be them or be more like them. Well, you need to be thankful for who you are and the blessings that you have. So, all right, this was a long rant, long enough. Y'all don't judge me. I'm giving y'all me. Um, again, with my channel, I just want to remind people like, hey, I'm a normal person in the real world. I do not walk around looking like an Instagram filter, nor do I feel the need to. That's not my thing, but don't get me wrong. When you look good, you feel good. But I wanted to make this video and say what I wanted to say because it was just flowing. So uh, as always, thank you guys for pressing play. I hope that you actually listen to the end. Please share this message with people, especially our youth and 
um, you know, us millennials, because I, I think I'm still a millennial. I think millennials are from 81 to 99, something like that. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Y'all remember, be thankful and happy Thursday.